Today, I just ask and rise to ask your support about asking our constituents, the people that vote in our districts across the state, if able-bodied, childless adults, very capable of working, should be required to look for work in order to receive taxpayer-funded benefits. Very, very simple question. Today, if you ask me that question as Assembly Chair of Workforce Development and Economic Opportunity, I would answer that in the affirmative. I would say absolutely yes. Two years ago, I asked my constituents of the 93rd District in Western Wisconsin that very question. I said, what, how would you feel about this uh, here in Western Wisconsin? Answer the question, please. Of those that responded, 79%, 79% said yes when we sent out that survey. There should be additional job training for able-bodied welfare recipients. And 70% in a separate question agreed that there should be work requirements for able-bodied adults with school-age sh children. So it is no secret in this building, none at all. Not, it's not a secret in Milwaukee. It's not a secret in Eau Claire. There's no secret. The state of Wisconsin is facing a workforce shortage of gargantuan crisis proportions. And this is a very high priority, whether uh, you agree on the other side of the aisle or not. But you'll find out in a few short weeks how the people of Wisconsin feel. As I traveled throughout western Wisconsin on a daily basis, one thing is very clear. When I talk to business owners, entrepreneurs, restaurant owners, local manufacturers, and farmers, this workforce shortage is extremely real. One of those areas where we can make a difference is by helping those on government programs find a job. Now, we know people look for work, and we provide them the tools can they be successful? Absolutely. And that is part of what workforce development should do. And I back this up with data from the United States Department of Labor. When someone is on unemployment insurance, there's a federal program that requires the claimants to receive a workforce readiness assessment while they search for work. And depending on the results, then they're required to participate in further orientation, learning opportunities, take modules, individual reemployment plans according to the results. That's federal law. When that program was implemented seriously in Nevada, they found people were, that were on unemployment, unemployment employment benefits significantly reduced. And they found people had a greater likelihood of keeping their job even longer. Great goals for all of us. For our people. These are results that easily can be replicated right here in the great state of Wisconsin. Unfortunately, Mr. Speaker, it has become very clear that this governor and some on the other side of the aisle are not serious about helping people find a job. Otherwise, they would have supported these measures when they came up for a vote last session. Those of you that are freshmen, you'll have an opportunity to start all over and help us get this across the finish line. Right now, if everyone who has a resume on jobcenterofwisconsin.com were to find a job, we would still be nearly 70,000 positions short. Is that not a crisis? I think it is. And I would certainly hope that the governor will address this in his state of the state next week and agree with these measures and say, when the people speak in this advisory rec referendum in April, we should act. We should act today. We should have acted yesterday. Where are we going to find these people? In the last budget, we did some really fine things, and some of you actually voted for it. We continued to invest in people with disabilities, and in their ability to find a career that is meaningful in Wisconsin. We also invested in helping people in our corrections institutions get the resources that they need to find their next job. Admirable. We invested more money in helping our students in K-12 get work experience so they have skills that they need to succeed after they graduate. 
Let's keep that ball rolling in this next budget. So, Mr. Speaker, it seems to me it's very common sense that if our state has a pool of workers identified that could help alleviate this crisis, why would we not take this moment, embrace it, and help and take the time to find their next family-sustaining job in Wisconsin? The vote on Senate Resolution 4 is green. Thank you very much.